And normally, for a living, I get into cars, I drive them, I review them. I talk about cars, I like cars. This is different, I'm in my garden which might give you a little clue, because they said it's got four wheels, they also said it has an engine, they also said some of them are four wheel drive. Suddenly I was interested. And look what we've got here. We have some mowers, some mowers here. The great thing about this is I get to test drive, drive, push mowers, because I have an issue. About two weeks ago, uh, my mower packed up, my trusty mower, uh, and I live rurally, so I've got a fairly large garden, uh, but not quite big enough for a ride-on mower. So although in my heart of hearts, I really want to just buy a ride-on tractor, but I haven't got the space really for a tractor. It, it, it's, it's just daft, you know? <laughs> Um, my mower gave up, I've mended it about five times, I needed a new mower, um, put the word out on Twitter and through the power of social media I got sent four mowers to essentially test and see which ones I like. Now three of these four mowers are red and they're made by Toro. Toro is a company, not Spanish as people might think, actually American. And that one in the middle there, sort of in the middle, the green one, is a classic British mower called a Hater. Uh, haters have been around for years, they've even got the Royal Crest. I think they're the only mower to have the Royal Crest on them. I'll do a close-up of that later. Because the Queen's Garden gets mown by a hater or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test these mowers and just get an idea of why they differ. Because these are all wildly different. This one here has twin blades. I think it's the first push-along mower to have twin cutting rotors under there, which is quite impressive. This one here is a classic hater with a, um, a roller at the back to give your garden a nice stripey effect. It's also got a really mad little natty electric start system, which is like the lithium iron kind of drill pack uh, that you have in cordless drills and stuff like that. And it clips on the top and it's an optional extra. What that does is your electric start. And now you've got this one here. What I like about this is it's front wheel drive, which apparently is quite a popular option for a mower in America, of all places, in America. This is a 22 inch front wheel drive mower, so I'm going to try that. And this one here, I can't say it's a Quattro because Audi might sue me, but this is a four wheel drive or all wheel drive mower. So I'm going to test all of these and see how they behave, because it's because I'm a mofo and I've been a mofo before. Because I used to mow for a living. My first job to earn money, Saturday money and Sunday money, was mowing lawns for a lot of elderly neighbours that we had when we were growing up. This is probably a really obvious thing to say, but before you mow the lawn, check that you haven't left kids' toys on the lawn, like that big foam ball behind me. Check that you're wearing uh, steel-toed shoes. I am. I actually stole these from a lorry factory when I did a documentary a few years ago on telly. Sorry about that, Scania. And also, check for things like this. Uh, this is um, poo and a dead animal. You don't want either of those on your lawn when you're mowing because trust me, you just don't. Also, check for alive animals. There is an alive animal somewhere around here. There, my pet tortoise, Ken. He is a very, very beautiful creature and I certainly don't want him in the way when I'm mowing. So, sorry, Ken. Okay, so first up, this is the traditional hater. This is your equivalent of a sort of uh, trad rear wheel drive quality saloon, like a Mercedes E-Class or a BMW 5. It's the Hater Harrier 56. 56 means it's 56 centimeters wide cut. Uh, in old money, that's 22 inches. That's about as wide as a, as a, as a handhold push along mower gets. Uh, but the thing about haters is they're very good quality. It's got a roller at the back, which is split in two, so the drive goes to the back end, uh, and the split roller means that it, it's, it's the sort of opposite of a limited slip diff, almost like an open diff, so it doesn't scuff the lawn if you leave the power on and you want to turn.
beautiful. Look at the side of this, it's like a, a Jag XK150 or something. I like living in the countryside because there's more places to park. I can eat apples off trees. Hmm, nice, free. And also, my neighbours have got some quite cool vehicles. Like, like that. Like a lot of mowers these days, you can't adjust the revs on this. You just start it up and it sits at the RPM that it wants to sit at and it will mow. You don't need to prime it. You don't need to turn a fuel tap on. You just start it. It's a Briggs & Stratton engine, so it's an American engine. Uh, proven how many go-karts over the years have been made using old Briggs & Stratton engines that simply will not die. Tons of them. So I've just done a couple of stripes in the, uh, the hater. I like the fact that it does the stripes. It's a heavy mower, it is heavy, but it's very substantial and robust, and of course it's self-propelled. The controls are really light, uh, and the electric starts about 100 quid more. I don't need that, personally, because I'm not old, but some people might want to choose that. Next up, we've got the front-wheel drive. Toro mower. Now like I said before, Toro's not Spanish, it's actually an American company. Um, been around for many years and Toro actually owns Hater now. Uh, just like car manufacturers, BMW owns Rolls-Royce, Rolls-Royce is still British. Hater's still built in Britain, um, designed in Britain, but it's owned by Toro. The thing about this mower that really fascinates me is the fact it's front wheel drive. How bizarre. So it's got, I'll lift it up, I don't know if I can show you, but you've got the little got the gearbox uh, at the front there which drives the front wheels is the axle and then obviously there's your conventional rotor your belt drive here but it's just it's a bit of an unusual thing to do and I asked Toro I said what's the crack here because I, I personally never even knew that front wheel drive mowers really existed and they said they're popular in America the reason for that is so that when you're when you're mowing along and you can leave the power on you can leave the power on um, and the self-propelled and when you get to the end of your lawn, the end of your stripe, you just lift up the front and then you can turn it around with the front wheels still turning. You don't have to release the power. Let's try it out, shall we? concept the front wheel drive mower is a great idea I can see why if you're in a rush especially you just want to crack on and do it uh, you can you can leave the power on and you can turn much quicker but <clears throat> ultimately for me I find lawn mowing quite therapeutic and quite a relaxing experience and therefore that seems to be rushing me around and genuinely it's it's tugging me and talk steering me it feels like a Ford Focus RS or something just done a grass box full on the all-wheel drive Toro. I actually like the manoeuvrability of this one. It's a bit like a Quattro Audi, I suppose. It's really good for, um, for just setting a nice straight line. It's less skitty than the front-wheel drive one. Also, going around trees and things just feels a little bit more nimble. And this system here, this, this push bar um, initiation for the self-propelled, I'm really down with that. 
Are you a master of time or do you not have any time like me but you still enjoy mowing? Yes, here it is, the Toro Time Master. Underneath here, yeah, yeah, can you see? Two cutting blades. So the great thing about this is it has a 76 centimeter cutting width, which is a lot for a, for a push behind mower. So it's almost as wide as a ride on mower, but it's A, much cheaper, B, much easier to stir away, and C, well, I don't know, hopefully it's fun. Okay, it's time to now strike up the Time Master and give it a bit of a thrashing. I can't start it with one hand, um, so you just have to give me a minute. So one engine propels two blades, same engine. It doesn't seem to bog down at any point. There's a nozzle, I don't know if you can see that here, there's a nozzle there called a quick wash. What that does is it's the same nozzle um, as your household hose pipe. You click your hose pipe on, okay, you switch your hose on and you start the mower up. What that does is gives it, well, kind of like a mower enema. Ah. Oh. The smell of a completed lawn, isn't it a wonderful thing? So I've tested all four mowers, and although I'm a motoring journalist and I'm gonna use motoring related jargon, it's the only way I know. I've enjoyed it. This here is the front wheel drive. I think that's probably the most skitty, although it's a quick thing, uh, and it's pretty agile, it's a bit scrabbly and a bit mad, like a dog on liner. That, the all wheel drive Toro with the recycling version, really, really good mower, actually, probably, probably the smoothest to drive out of all of them. It's not that necessary unless you've got a hilly lawn, and my lawn is dead flat, so I couldn't use it on an incline, although I believe Tiff Nadell's garden is extremely hilly. Isn't that right, Tiff? So he'd be perfect for it. Um, these two mowers are about 550, 600 quid. Then you go to the bad boy, the big twin, the dual force Time Master. Oh yes, with the twin blades. I think that's a great setup. That's almost as wide as a, an entry level ride on, but a push behind that fits in a little shed, it's really easy to start. It guzzles lawn. I mean, it just feels like it's unstoppable and it's smooth. I like that one a lot. And that's under a grand. And then you've got the traditional bad boy, the hater harrier there, the, the British lawn mowing green uh, hater harrier. I really like that mower. That's an aluminium uh, deck. You can feel the quality on that over the others, but then again, the price reflects that. It's over a thousand quid. What I love about the hater, just look at it. You know, I'm sold on its looks, look at it. Look at this thing, look. It's just so slick and beautiful. And also that cuts lower and it does roll and leave a slightly nicer effect. That, if you uh, haven't got time to spare, that if you want to save at the moment. I know it's predictable. I'm going to go with the rear wheel drive hater with the fared in rear wheels. Mm -hmm. 